the Amstrad CPC 464 is an absolutely amazing computer. It came out back in 1984 and it was my very first ever PC. It's the very first introduction I had to video games and recently I got it out and installed Windows 10. I loaded up Steam. Okay, okay, okay. It's maybe not running Windows 10, it's running BASIC, but it was built in 1984. So let me take you through a little bit of my childhood and show you the Amstrad CPC 464. So it ran their own custom version of AMS-DOS as well as having a Zilog Z84 MHz CPU and 64 kilobytes of RAM. To make it easier for consumers, one of the benefits to this computer was it only had one plug. You plugged one plug into the wall and two cables came from the monitor going into the base unit by itself. It also had expandability through the serial port in order to use things like a joystick. Throughout its time in the market, the Amstrad had a plethora of games that was released, all the way from its release in 1984 all the way up to 1994, giving it a 10 year run for games that were released on the system. As you can see here, I've got a fair collection of games that came in a pack that was bought online, and from them specifically, the one I was looking mainly to play was Robocop, and I also picked up Harrier Attack separately because that is just an awesome, addictive little game. Now, the main downside to these systems were the load times off of a tape drive was so 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 slow because as you can see from some of this footage which has been sped up trying to load robocop ghostbusters and harrier attack took anywhere from about 4 to 12 minutes before the game was even playable and there also had to be some interactions in between whether that be a case of it'll tell you to stop the tape or rewind it at a certain point or even clear the counter that's on the top the CPC's base unit also included a full size keyboard which included number pad and cursor keys. This is something at the time that the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum lacked and those keys were also mappable for specific games. Robocop for example is shown in this clip here allows you to pick whichever keys you use. I didn't use the cursor keys as I much prefer the standard gamer layout nowadays, the WASD keys, um, but the option is still there to use those cursor keys if you so choose. And as mentioned before, it was expandable using a serial adapter which would allow you to connect to a joystick. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a joystick within a reasonable price range. The graphics chip in the machine was also made by Motorola and it had 27 colour palettes. Depending on the mode for the resolution that it was displaying, that gave you different levels of the colour palettes which either used 4 or 16 colours. The machine also had an inbuilt sound card as well as a speaker and an adjustable volume knob on the side. And as you can hear here from the Ghostbusters tune, it wasn't half bad. Later on they also released different models of the Amstrad, the 664 or the 6128 which all the games were pretty much compatible across. But yeah this isn't really a massive in-depth video about the Amstrad, it was just something I wanted to share as it was a big part of my childhood growing up and the first introduction to games and that was my first ever console and I spent hours and hours and hours playing games on it and after using it for the past few weeks on and off sharing a little bit of that with my son showing him how it works and things like that and um, children nowadays certainly don't have the patience we had when we were we were young games nowadays you load it up on a phone you load it up on the console it's pretty much instant there is no wait time if there is it's only a minute or two not anywhere up to nearly 12 minutes for some games in some cases but it certainly is a cool bit of retro tech something i plan on holding on to for quite a long time if i can pick up any more games along the way i certainly will do and um, from the list of games obviously there is so many of them and the load times are quite long so if you've seen any games specifically on that list that you'd like me to test make a little video on pop that in the comments i'm more than happy to do so as for the video quality i do apologize it was really really hard to get it to pick up the screen using my camera so it was showing it in a lighter grey colour rather than the green it is um, and hopefully at some point in the future I'll be able to pick up one of the colour screens and actually experience it in colour because I've only ever played it in black and white or in green and green yeah green and green but yeah if you like the video please leave a like if you have a comment below please fire a comment below have a good evening thanks for watching at the time both the Cursor keys.